Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Saddam of the Bears and this is going to be a short tutorial about Logic Reader. You can print this chip in electro printer or in a fabricator. So let's try to place it on the frame and we will see how it works. We can see right now on the left side of the logic reader before placing on the frame there is an input on the right side there is an output on the top of the logic reader there is a power connection so i will place it on the frame let's connect the logic reader to the power with cable so i do have my power source over here now the logic reader has power, but we need to connect it to something to read data. So I'm in my Moon Tutorial Studio, which is Creative. So let's get a sensor. So I will use this sensor and I will switch it with mouse wheel to gas sensor. So now I will take a screwdriver and we can see the logic reader has two screws so we need a screwdriver again and this is the input or the screw which switches the input and this is the screw which is switching the variables so let's set this logic reader to read this gas sensor. Gas sensor and variables, it means basically the data we want to read from this gas sensor. So let's try the temperature. So I will turn on the logic reader. And we can see this crazy long number. Don't get scared, it's not Celsius it is in kelvin so let's switch it to something different so let's see the pressure in this base so basically logic reader reads the data that's what it is used for so for displaying the data i'm going to use a logic writer which says it can write the data somewhere and we can see on the left side there is a data input on the right side there is a data output and on the top side there is a power connection so i will place this logic writer here and we need some kind of a display so i will use this led display so let's let's go for the large so this is it and if you want to program this small logic circuit, it is extremely easy. So we will connect logic reader and logic writer with this cable over there. Then we can use cable to connect the data output from logic writer. And I'm going to program this circuit. So logic writer will have a input this logic reader. Just like this the output or the logic writer the logic writer has three screws input output and the variable like the output variable so this is the input this is the output and this is the output variable so this is set to logic reader now we need to set this output to this LED display. So I will click it with a screwdriver. And we have only one device on this cable. So I can't switch it to something else. But we need data variables we want to display. So I will click this screw over here. And I will set it to setting. So now I need to connect the logic re writer to the power. Just like this. I can do it this way. And I will turn it on. 
So now we can see the logic writer has exactly the same number as the logic reader. But we need power for the LED display. So let's connect this cable to power. Now let's do it just like this. And now like the, connect, the, the cable connection doesn't look very good, but it works. So now we have the number or the pressure on our display. So this is guys how to use the logic reader. Basically it reads the data. So let's play with it just a little bit and I will switch these variables to something else. Let's see prefab hash no temperature kel in kelvins ratio water nothing ratio volatiles nothing and so on so if we want to see the pressure we will switch the logic reader to pressure and of course we need this gas sensor if you want to see more videos like this if you are a beginner player let me know in the comments under the video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one this is the way